when I showed you this volume two of Sita Ramkovalji's book, the Islamic mm -hmm. evidence, and most of it comes from the uh, <clears throat> Islamic authors. So right. that's, that's something that their consistent behavior they cannot deny. And I have actually looked at their consistent behavior and I written an article about the Sufis. Then uh, I quoted that. Yes. Uh, you can start the great Sufi, the Mujaddid al Fasani, the Ahmad Sarindi, mm. from there to their successors, his, uh, um, his son, his grandson, who was the mentor of uh, Aurangzeb. That's uh, <clears throat> starting from there right down to these uh, uh, Abdul Rahim, Shah Waliullah, all those names that I took. Sayyid Ahmad, Iqbal, consistent. That's separatism, that exclusivism, that supremacism. At which point does Sufi get, in, in Sufi get uh, associated with inclusivity and, uh, you know, uh, the kind of, because everybody just loves, you know, whenever they talk about Islam, they talk about Sufism. And I don't know, I, I know you've covered this topic extensively. But uh, I'm also curious as to how could something so, uh, something be so misunderstood, so, uh, you know. With the, it's, it, it, that's, what's, that's what's called propaganda. What else is propaganda? Just because they sing and dance, people think they're moderate. <laughs> At least uh, they should also uh, try and translate what they're singing. Mm. Just because they don't do. They seem to be like, you know, very liberal and very... The whirling their wishes just because they whirl around. Uh, they, of course, <laughs> they are called kafirs by the Devandis. That doesn't mean that uh, they do not call you as a kafir. Mm. Uh, basically, what has happened with the Sufis, because uh, when they started out at that time, <clears throat> in 10th century or so, there was a huge conflict within Islam. Mm. And that was a time when these uh, Shariat Walas uh, actually won that contest. And till that point, uh, there was definitely an inclusive uh, chapter to the Sufism. Uh, if you look at these, uh, what people do is that they will quote Rumi and they will quote uh, some other Rumi, yeah. an ancient uh, uh, Sufi. Uh, at that time, the uh, Tasavvuf, as it is called, Sufism, it's called Tasavvuf. So, tasavvuf was not subordinated to Shariat. Okay. So it is from that time that these people, when they do propaganda, then they talk about the 10th century. Mm. But they don't tell you that in the 11th century, a guy, Sufi called Al-Ghazali came, which uh, heralded the victory for the Asharis over the Mutazallis, as they used to be at that time, the rationalists. Uh, that victory ensured that uh, the Savvuf was firmly subordinated to Sharia. Sharia. Oh. So once it has come under the Sharia, then there's the question. You're not different. That's why I ask everybody. Can a Sufi disregard Sharia? Mm. They will either not answer you mm. or they will say yes. In either case, if they are subordinate to Sharia, then they are exactly like every other Ashraf Mullah Walana. Right. If you see the history of massacres in the Indian subcontinent, all the great massacres were led by these Sufis. Mm. You look at the evidence I've given in Unbreaking India, that chapter I've written that to all the great massacres, Malabar, that was um, a, a, a Khadrij uh, Sufi. Uh, this Abu Musliar and that uh, what's his called the other guy who established the Dola Al Dola Dola okay. is an Islamic uh, rule okay. uh, Islamic kingdom. So you're saying Kunj that Kunj Ahmad, his name was Kunj Ahmad Haji. So Kunj Ahmad Haji and Haji. Uh, yeah uh, Ali Musliar, they're both Sufis, Khadri Sufis. Look at Noah Khali. What is Noah Khali? That was uh, Nizami Chishti, Ali Sarwar, Hussain Sarwar. Mm. And uh, look at all the killings that happened in Punjab. So, all these Sufi tariqas who were leading them. Mm. Mm. Look at the killing of the Gurus. That was uh, Nakshbandi Chishti, this uh, Ahmad Shah, uh, sorry, mm. Ahmad uh, um, Sarindi. He was the one who 
inspired the killings of uh, the gurus of uh, the Sikh gurus. Sikh gurus. So uh, all this is a complete hoax. Then uh, look at the evidence afterwards. Who was what was who was Aurangzeb? Mm, he also, I think, followed a Sufi. Yes, so he, he, he followed the Lakshmandi Tariqa. Mm. He, was, uh, he was, uh, his, his, his peer, his peer Murid, you know, you have this, uh, uh, the Guru disciple uh, kind of a relationship, peer and Murid. His peer was Muhammad Masoom, the son of Ahmed Shah, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Sheikh Ahmed Sarindi. So Mia Masoom mm. was his peer. Aurangzeb's peer. Aurangzeb's peer. So he was actually uh, initiated into the Nakshbandi Sufi Silsala. Mm. Now all these Abdul Rahim, Shah Waliullah, there was all, all of them follow these Sufi mm. So this is a complete hoax. And uh, let not anybody be misled by these. There's only what is called. Uh, I think somebody made a very fine remark as a comment on one of my videos on Sufis. Mm. Sufiyon mein aur baakiyon mein farak kitna ye hai ki wo gana ga ke aapki gardan kaatte correct <laughs> <laughs>